Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Ronald. If you new are new here, you would not know that my main videos are cooking and DIYs. But that on the side, today we're here to talk about this amazing, as you can see, Wabashin. So there is a new community uh, project that we are kicking off and that is the garden. As you can see that picture right there. Yes, it's in the early stages, but we wanted to show the community at large what is happening and if you really want to get involved, well, this is the time. Because we're just laying down the foundation and basically we're going to be planting seeds and we'll be giving updates in the videos uh, as we go basically from seeding to planting to basically harvesting eventually. So the question is, would you like to your family to be part of this? As you can see, these amazing kids, they're having fun, they're having a ball being part of this, and this is what it's all about. Basically, bring the community together. Yeah, as you can see, this is our home right here, and uh, there's two flags, as you can see. One is Canadian flag, because my wife is Canadian to start with, and then a uh, Ugandan flag, because I'm Ugandan to start, but now I'm a Canadian. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it see what the project is all about, see how we began and see the amazing fun we have we're having right now. Our garden to be. Our <laughs> new garden to grow vegetables and to grow community. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. All right, our garden is run by the community. You don't have to sign up. Everybody is welcome to join us. So if you want to plant, weed, water, harvest, whatever you like about gardening, we would love to have you come by and the food is to be shared by all. <laughs> Is that unconvinced? <laughs> We're all unconvinced. Uh, trying to get everybody to clean their room today. It was like oh a my god. Yeah, so the procedure was we, we got a bunch of uh, friends to come over and we, we dug down about three feet for these fence posts to go in. Um, and then we put these pieces at the, around the bottom to uh, be a retainer wall. And in the middle we put all kinds of uh, old cardboard and newspapers and stuff that will rot over time. And on top of that, leaves from the maples and oak that grow around here. And on top of that, seaweed from down at the beach, because there's lots and lots of seaweed to build up the biomass of material. And we got a local landscaper, uh, Jeff Argue, he donated for free the uh, triple mix, uh, the topsoil. Uh, so that's what's going on top for the, for the final layer. So when it's time to plant, we'll be here um, planting. And there will be a railing around the edge, two feet up, and some chicken wire to keep out the uh, rabbits and the groundhogs. Um, it won't keep out the squirrels and chipmunks, I can guarantee that, but we'll do what we can. So two feet up, chicken wire, and there'll be a gate at this entrance here. And uh, the entrance faces the east, which is significant to the Anishinaabek, um, who the, the eastern doorway is very significant in, in their uh, culture and, the, and the, their ways of knowing things. So I, I won't go further into that, but that's kind of how the design came around. Uh, so this is all about community in general. Is anybody getting paid or did we have to pay anybody uh, with the labor or not? No, no. The only thing we paid for were the materials, the, uh, the wood and whatnot. But the uh, soil was uh, donated by Dave Whitten. And um, uh, the wood chips are from the township and we brought up a lot of um, mulch from uh, mulch from the garden, from the uh, lake shore mm -hmm. uh, to put in here. And I got leaves from the garden back here to put in there too. And uh, all the stones were donated and all the laborers uh, volunteered. So Maggie, why don't you tell us why you're here and why you decided to join the cause? Uh, well, 
I've only been part of the community for about a year now and I really wanted to get to know people in the area. I wanted my kids to meet new friends and I'm really excited to learn more about gardening from people who really know how to do it. Awesome, I guess there's no better place to be. That's right, you got it. <laughs> Maverick, can you tell me what you're doing and why you're doing it? Right. No, that's good enough. People need help and you like to help people, right? Yeah. Great. Okay, so why don't you tell us um, a little bit of where this idea came from? The idea came from, uh, it, there's a bit of a long story, so I'll try not to make it too long, but we're, Sharon and I are involved in um, reconciliation with indigenous peoples and, and we had the idea after the land acknowledgement sign went up uh, at the end of Pine Street here in the Labachine to maybe put in what's called a Three Sisters Garden, which is the corn, beans and squash that were grown by the Haudenosaunee and the Wendat people. Uh, and since then, we um, got more people on board and, and made a, a, a bigger idea so that it can be a place where people come to learn how to grow vegetables and teach their children how to grow vegetables. And for all the, uh, the new people in town with young children looking for something to do to uh, meet each other you know and, and uh, hopefully uh, this is a stepping stone you know and ideas will spring up from this for the future for um, for other things to happen <laughs> What else did we put underneath? Uh, cardboard and newspaper and then leaves and then uh, this stuff here from the from the beach. Oh, okay. What's the big purpose of this? Why did you think of it? It's a lot of work and you decided to take it on. Okay, well, we wanted to do 
something uh, for the community. We wanted to acknowledge some of the history of this area that um, has been neglected, uh, history of the First Nation, Nations people. Um, so it, it kind of, the seed of the idea was to uh, create a, a Three Sisters Garden to, uh, to kind of uh, remember the way First Nations people used to garden. And, and from there it grew into um, th this idea that we could make something, a community oriented thing where a lot of people get involved and pitch in and help um, up here in uh, Veterans Memorial Park because there's a nice, unused, sunny spot that, you know, perfect for this, and it's right in the middle of town. There's lots of people with little kids living around that uh, can easily access this, this spot here, and it's close to the library, and the library people are on board with, with being part of this um, effort, too. The idea behind the Three Sisters Garden is that this is a Haudenosaunee um, tradition, and the corn grows up in the center, and it allows the beans to grow around it up high. And then the squash goes around the bottom and protects all the plants from any um, animals and whatnot. And it would also uh, help to keep moisture in the soil. And then the beans fixate nitrogen into the soil, and the corn needs a lot of nitrogen. So the plants really work together. And so we're hoping that plants can um, teach us about how to uh, form good communities. And um, over the last two years, there's been a lot of change in who lives in Wabashin, and there's lots of new people, and they don't necessarily know each other because we've all been inside and, and isolating and whatnot. And so this can provide a safe place for people to start getting together outside with a focal point that uh, can help us to learn how to be in a community in a new way. Yes, and as you can see by today, it's working out quite nicely. How long have you guys been part of the Wabashin? Almost a year. And what made you want to be part of the garden? Uh, I think we're pretty excited about learning a lot of skills of regarding growing our own food. Meeting our neighbors is pretty cool. Our kids are learning a lot. They're having a ton of fun. We get to put them to work out in the sun, so that's pretty good too. And it's a great way to meet people. My wife and I and our son, we are so happy to be part of this amazing so basically that was it and uh, well give us your thoughts what do you think about the project what do you think about the garden what do you think about the people the comment at large well if you think this is for you and you want to be part of it you are more than welcome to jump in for this for our community and by the way also if you have a question how we went about this whole project here and uh, we got some help from the township well you can do the same thing basically whatever community you may be in or wherever you may be living you could also do the same thing somewhere in the park well we'll see you in another video of this kind and by the way again check out my cooking videos DIY videos and also my old files on youtube channel it's called respect is growing and we'll see you in another video bye now